Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms and made a little more progress with our peafowl pen, pheasant pen, and just wanted to share it with you. Almost, uh, almost ready to start moving the birds in. You've seen the, if you've seen the first video, you kind of saw how we constructed it. We dug the holes. I've got metal going three and a half foot up, which is high enough that raccoons should not be able to climb it. And uh, we took one end of it. I've still got to come and kind of trim the metal up. But I uh, used this to make a... Uh, that's where their house is going to be. And because we were on a hill, there was a little bit of a gap underneath. So I took chicken wire. I put chicken wire on both sides and came in kind of like an L shape. And then I put a layer of dirt on the inside. I've got a layer of rock on the outside. And then as I walk up, you'll, uh, you'll kind of see it here in a minute. I got a bunch of uh, quickcrete and I put quickcrete down. Pretty good layer of that to kind of harden it up to make it harder for any animal to dig into. And then I'm putting more rock on top to fill it all the way up. I'm gonna put another layer of quickcrete in there and uh, then I'm going to cover it with dirt and grass seed so I can kind of get up there and mow. I'm also uh, going to come around with an electric fence and put it in about two or three different spots and kind of keep it if something does, uh, you know, get up there and try to try to climb up. Hopefully uh, we can stop them that way. Started to put some solar lights in. I've got one here that's a... Uh, motion sensor for when you walk in the door or at night you got a little bit of light built a door i got this uh, quick framing kit and uh, i'll put a link for it it actually uh, worked pretty good made it pretty easy to put the door in got some latches this latch uh, was uh, i think our local farm and home store uh, orschlin's one of those it's pretty tight so it can't be open so it's a little hard to do with one hand while i'm holding the camera and it just came out of the uh the track well, that's nice stop this for a second so i can pop it back in all right pop that back in i guess definitely something i'm gonna have to look at with this latch this is just basic hardware i got from uh uh i think it was tractor supply got a sheet of metal in here and uh, locks up pretty good. I do have a gap. I'm just going to put a board there to kind of cover it. And let's go inside, see what I got so far. All right, as we come in, I've gotten a couple of uh, branches that had fallen in a recent storm to start some perches. I've got them held on with lag bolts. And uh, probably today or tomorrow, I'm going to go around and start looking for a few more. I got... This is from Harbor Freight. It's some solar-powered LED lights. I was going to set that up, kind of see how they work, if they work good. It's a 20-foot stretch, so if they work good, I might get another one or two of those. And the house that I'm going to lock them up in tonight, and especially give them a place to kind of get out of the uh, weather in the wintertime when it's super cold. I've just about got it framed up here now. It's an eight foot by eight foot, nothing fancy, just basically somewhere for them to go at night or to get out of the cold. I may, uh, I'm gonna do another section either in this house or a separate house for when we have babies to kind of keep them separated from the big ones if need be. And uh, pretty simple, just a couple two by fours for rafters and then going crossways with them. I'm gonna put metal up there. And as you can see, I kind of have a skylight I'm going to put one in there so they have some light. And I'm also, when I start putting the metal on this side, I'm going to use one, maybe two of those for the wall here. Just because the sun comes up in the morning. We can kind of see it now. It's uh, It comes up in this direction and it is uh, super bright. Usually, like our deck that faces this direction is... Uh, it warms up before any place else in the yard does. So that way kind of give them some heat from the sun to come in in the morning, especially on those colder days. 
so that's where I'm at so far with this. Hopefully today or tomorrow I should have the house and uh, rest of this done. I don't know, it seems like it's taking a lot longer than I originally thought it would. But we have kind of changed the design, changed some things up a little bit. And uh, between work and a few other things, I haven't been able to get out here, you know, a whole lot. I'm off all day today, so between this and a couple other projects. Hopefully we'll get pretty much everything except for just the metal on the house, because I'm going to have to go get it, and the place isn't open on Sunday, which today is Sunday. But if I can get everything else done, I can pick it up tomorrow or Tuesday and finish up, hopefully. That's where we're at so far. It's Matt with McGee Farms. If you enjoy the videos, please consider subscribing to the channel, giving us a thumbs up, leaving us a comment. It's always appreciated and it helps the channel grow. Till next time, have a great day.